Welcome back. Use the product to sum formula to evaluate cosine 11 pi over 12, cosine pi over 12. Okay, so we have, this is our alpha, this is our beta. So we have cosine alpha cosine beta is equal to 1 half cosine alpha minus beta plus cosine alpha plus beta. Then we have cosine 11 pi over 12. I will remove that and some space. Cosine pi over 12 is equal to 1 half. Cosine um, 11 pi over 12 minus pi over 12 plus, sorry, it should be like that, cosine 11 pi over 12 uh, plus pi over 12. And then we have 1 half cosine uh, 10 pi over 12. plus cosine uh, pi or 12 pi over 12 and then we have one half cosine 5 pi over 6 plus cosine pi then we have 5 pi over 6 that is that's telling me it's with something with 30 degrees so we have 5 pi over 6 and then we have 180 over pi so this is 30 by 30 and then we have 150 degrees okay that's on the second degree and cosine on the se uh, second degree sorry second uh, quadrant so in the second quadrant but I'm going to do 30 degrees here we have the adjacent side which is square root of 3 and the hypotenuse which is 1 then we have square root of uh, square root of 3 over 2 over 1 okay no sorry I'm confused this is supposed to be 2 okay this is supposed to be 1 such that we have now one half cosine five pi over six that is on the second quadrant so we have negative square root of three over two plus the cosine pi that is negative one then we have negative square root of three over four minus one half so by 2 there, multiplied by 2, then we have negative square root of 3 minus 2 over 4. Next, write the following difference of sine's expressions, expression as a product. So this is our sine alpha and our sine beta. We have now sine alpha minus sine beta is equal to 2 times sine um, alpha minus beta divided over 2 cosine alpha plus beta over 2. Let's see if I remembered it right. There you go. 2 sine, sorry, 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 <laughs> 2 sine alpha minus beta over 2 cosine alpha minus beta. Okay, that's, that's it. So we have now sine 4 theta minus sine 2 theta 
is equal to sine at two times sine four pi minus two pi over two cosine four pi plus two pi over two and then we have two sine two theta over two then we have only theta here cosine six theta over two then we have three theta okay some more evaluate cosine this time it is cosine i don't remember there you go so it should be negative to sine sine okay this is our alpha this is our beta so we have cosine alpha minus cosine beta is equal to negative to sine alpha minus beta over 2 sine alpha plus beta over 2. I wrote it wrong. It should be plus there and this should be minus. Okay? It's not that easy to remember everything. Minus 2 and sine if this is our cosine 15 degrees minus cosine 75 degrees of sine 15 degrees plus 75 degrees over 2 ah no plus there multiplied by sine 15 degrees minus 75 degrees over 2 then we have negative 2 sine that's 90 degrees over 2 sine and 60 what will be See here 60 degrees negative 60 degrees over 2 and then we have negative 2 sine 45 degrees sine negative 30 degrees okay 45 degrees we know already or i hope you know we have 45 uh 45 there this is equal um this is one and this is this is a this is a so we have no that is not one yeah that is one so we have 2a squared of 2 is equal to and then we have a is equal to squared of one half so we have squared of 2 over 2 if you derive that so we have now negative 2 times square root of 2 over 2 uh, sine 30 degrees 30 and then we have square root of 3 there 1 there a uh, 2 sorry and 1 here and then we have 1 half times 1 half but it is negative 30 so we have negative 1 half Then we have square root of 2 over 2. It says there that I check the answer with a graphing calculator. If you want to do that, then do it. I did it and it's correct. Yeah, cosine 15 degrees minus cosine 75 degrees is the same as square root of 2 divided by 2. Okay. Now we're going to prove some identity. But uh, I guess I'm going to do that in my next video. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and uh, see you soon when you come back and uh, watch for this. It's good to solve them first before you watch them. Okay.